Let's get more uh, reaction to John's report. Joining us now, Roger Ferguson, former Fed uh, vice chairman, as well as a CNBC contributor. But the last thing I was saying, Roger, was uh, I asked for where Fed futures were, and I guess the July went to like 8 percent, but still like 50 and 60 before the end of the year likelihood. So there's still, I mean, I don't know, we're still on track for cuts. And I just, it's confounding to me. You're always nice, as I said to your former colleagues, but does it make sense to cut in, in 2024? And based on the data I've seen thus far, I'd say probably not. Uh, more data to come, obviously, but to get to particularly the December meeting. But look, the, the jobs report this morning showed the economy is in good shape, uh, creating more jobs than expected. Um, some of the disinflationary pressures that had come from the supply chain seem to be behind us. So I think it's definitely a wait and see moment. And I wouldn't signal too much eagerness to cut because I'm not sure the numbers are going to allow that in the near future. All the same questions we always ask ourselves, Roger. Do you have a high degree of confidence that where the Fed is right now is slowing the economy and is restrictive? I don't have a high degree of confidence. It is clearly somewhat restrictive. I've been surprised at how much uh, resilience the economy has shown, given how aggressive the Fed has been. Um, and so without getting too technical, there are debates among policymakers as exactly, you know, how restrictive are we? What is this elusive mm -hmm. thing called R star, the neutral rate? So I think the data is suggesting them certainly stay put where they are. You know, talk of cuts, premature. You know, a few have suggested a possibility of a hike. That doesn't seem likely um, right now, but I wouldn't say it's impossible as we get towards the yeah. end of the year. I just think if... The Fed has a, a natural tendency to underestimate the staying power of, of inflation on, on the way in. We saw the transitory, you know, with the still taking heat for that. If that's their sort of their bias to be leaning that, you know, inflation's not a problem, why wouldn't we think right now that they could underestimate the staying power or the difficulty of, of the last mile of getting to 2 percent? It would be like the same mistake. It, it wouldn't be surprising. Look, I, I think they, two things. I think they learned the lesson from being, you know, maybe a little too optimistic in the transitory camp early on. You know, we heard them speaking very firmly in an anti-inflation mode, which I thought was the right tone. Um, and so let's wait and see. Now, also recognize at the end of the year, when people were, you know, most in the uh, cut camp, there was certainly some sign that this inflation was moving very, very quickly. At the beginning of the year, things changed. And so for a data-dependent Fed, I think right now the data do not support uh, this cut talk. Uh, and I think it would be wise to lean against that expectation. All right. Um, I guess that I, I was going to mention some things like NVIDIA and NASDAQ and GameStop and Bitcoin. And I, I'm just looking for, I'm looking for where we see uh, signs of... Um, I don't know, non-exuberance. Remember, uh, you, you, you remember irrational exuberance. I mean, that's a good word to use when you're talking about uh, the Fed, Roger. I, I think we're more than neutral in terms of, of exuberance right now. Well, look, I think the markets are, as you point out, excited about new technologies, as I think they should be. You know, so this AI revolution um, is you know, creating brand new opportunities for a number of companies as we've seen, to make revenue and, frankly, to, to change interactions in a way that might also cut costs. So I understand the excitement about a new technology, and I think it's priced in, appropriately priced in, uh, with more to come. We'll see. You know, I think we see other elements of strength in the economy as well. Um, uh, consumers uh, showing uh, resilience. And first quarter earnings were, were pretty good. So I can understand some of this, um, you know, uh, excitement, as you call it, I think where the market is wrong and has been consistently wrong is the expectation of another jolt, uh, so to speak, of uh, interest rate cuts from the Fed. You know, started with the expectation of six cuts, you know, down now to two. And I think even that may look uh, a little optimistic. So time will tell. But I would say at this stage, I would not encourage an expectation for cuts right now.